on the latest version click on, click on a course page if you want to add course titles it's very easy you need to just say for example you scroll down you just you need to click on the pencil icon and paste it this is on the latest version whereas on uh, your version that is 2.7 we need to every time click on the gear icon that is the only difference i wanted to show you just to, you, you just change this paste it and hit enter it's very easy on the latest version okay but we'll come back to your course page Are you, yeah every time you need to click on the gear icon under each topic or under e Okay, click on this. You can paste it here. You you, un, you uncheck this, and you paste it here, or here also. Which one do you you paste it here? Otherwise, you will maintain uniformity. Yeah, you remove that, and copy the learning outcomes from your course page and paste it here. And before pasting you should add the sentence upon completion of this module or something that sentence should be there after completing this module you will be able to something yes there always start with the sentence I think learning outcomes we use should be able to, objectives we use will be able to. There is a difference again, do not ask me what is the difference, <laughs> yes. Put a colon and paste your learning outcomes. We do not want all these LO1 and 2, just bullets we want that is it. You remove LO2 and change the format to bullets, select these two, select these two, okay. after two. I think extra space is there, you push it back now, just before justify, I delete that extra space. Done are any queries on this? No, again you will get, uh, once you complete all this you will get four more points on the learnability checklist, okay. <laughs> so structuring your course page and adding all these learning outcomes. Yeah, you can do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You you hit. Yeah, insert image option is there. That also. If you want to make your course page or modules interesting for your students, you can. And in India, we also have this five MOOCs platform. For that, they expect faculty members to introduce using again a video, not only course introductory video. Every week you introduce using a video. Yeah, that also you can do. You, you just record module introductory video, you can embed it here. In the module introductory video, you can have all these in the module uh, uh, PPT itself. Le what are the learning outcomes? What they are going to learn from this module? And what are the expected participation? How many assignments you expect them to submit? All these. And you can introductory, uh, introductory, uh, what do you say, uh, introductory discussion, what you are going to talk. Yes. 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 Yeah. Once you have learned how to use screencast automatic, you can capture everything, whatever you want. To. Okay. Okay. Save changes. No, no, you remove that later, you can. So, otherwise, it, it will look odd. So, you will get the space. Okay.